Well, at Maya Masangu, the Youth Expressions Festival coordinator, and Debo Hokobedi, the uh, SAST Youth Choir director, join us now to share more. Very good morning to you too. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you morning. For having us. Good to have you on the show this morning. Debo, I'm going to start with you. You performed yes. last week at the South African State Theatre. How did that go? And I do understand that you added uh, two more new voices. Um, yeah, yeah. The, it was a beautiful performance. Um, the anticipation leading to the to the performance was also amazing. Yeah. Um, a lot of time was spent in preparation, a lot of blood, a lot of sweat, yeah, a lot yeah. of tears, but overall it was a beautiful production. Um, and we really enjoyed the crowd as well, interacting with the crowd and sharing our music and sharing mm, our craft mm. as well. Just take us through the preparation process. You know, there's so many, uh, you know, tears, blood, that was uh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's tears, blood, and more tears and more blood, pretty much. <laughs> uh, but we started, I think, around... April, I think, with the audition process, mm -hmm. and I think we got about close to like 500 candidates that came through to audition, and we did those auditions, we called them for callbacks, and then as soon as we got our, f our final number for the choir, we started with workshops, um, just to run through the music, teach mm -hmm. the music, mm -hmm. and then from there on, it was just weeks of rehearsal till the final dress rehearsal, then the actual performance. Okay. Now, Admire, the festival, I suppose, uh, is aimed at giving a voice and a platform to young creatives, especially, you know, the young uh, choristers who are, you know, who want to break into this industry. So what theme are you exploring this year? With the choir specifically? Yes. Um, so we, we were going through the theme that was provided. Um, okay. Um, um, yeah, so um, basically what they did was the um, June 16, mm -hmm. um, so, so they did the national, um, national, yeah, sorry about that. No, it's so, okay. So, so it's okay. they did the, 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 the South African yeah. national anthem and the AU song and then basically they did like a traditional African type mm -hmm. of theme. Mm -hmm. So they had like two different sessions. So there was one where they, um, they focused on traditional um, type of music mm -hmm. and the other one, the first session, which was um, directed by um, Devo right here, okay. which okay. was more soulful um, type right. of music, yes. So which plays are currently on? And do you want to give us a synopsis of uh, each of these plays? Oh, yes, definitely. So currently, today actually, since we are um, in a... LGBTQ plus community. Yes. Um, 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 we have a, a fashion exhibition. Mm -hmm. um, it's called uh, Bending Gender. It's basically a gender fluid fashion exhibition that will be taking place today at the yeah. State Theatre at the Opera Marble Foyer. We also had a production called um, Death of My Womb. So they were okay. also um, um, dealing with um, LGBTQ, so there was literally a, a lesbian in the production right, who had issues right. with the mother. So it was just basically issues of gender um, that they were t talking about um, basically there. And then we also have um, we also had who's next? Who was also talking about um, mental issues that people actually go through? Mm -hmm. Yes, basically. Um, and then we also have a, a group called Graveland. They will be focusing on um, the issues of xenophobia in South Africa. Mm -hmm. It's quite interesting that this choir is focusing on the very topical issues that you know and the daily ills that face South Africans on a daily basis. Now, Tebocho, I mean, how is it like uh, running a choir with over 30 members, some old, some new, into this industry? Well, um, I, I, I need to say that firstly, I'm grateful for my co-director, mm -hmm. um, Mandan Tlax. Um, together we actually make quite um, um, a good team. Um, it's a nice balance of like personalities between sure. us, even how we run the music and the show. So between the two of us, the workload is actually quite easy. And also have to give a lot of credit to the choir members themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we, 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 have, we had choir members where we would say, you know, call time is at this time and they'll be like an hour early or something like that. They were prepared, they were on time. So they made the load also a lot easy. Um, and I mean, working, working with such an amazing bunch of musicians and vocalists and so forth, it does make the work easier as a director because they feed off your energy. Sure. So you're not straining too much trying to lead them. You just give them direction and then they follow up and even come up with their own um, flavor sure. and their own sure. <clears throat> input towards the music as yeah. well. They basically make the choir. They, they are the choir. The choir. Yeah. Yes, so do you are. have any upcoming shows? 
that you want to share with us? Um, I would have to ask the administrator first. We don't have anything lined up yet, but we just had our show um, um, at the Youth Expressions Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, but the viewers can follow the, the choir on social media platforms. It's a SAST Youth Choir on Instagram, on TikTok. That's S-A-S-T, Youth Choir. Mm -hmm. And anything that comes up will be posted on our social media pages. Yeah, yeah. Now, Admire, as we mentioned earlier on, I mean, the choir touches on subjects like uh, racism, mental health, uh, health and uh, cultural heritage. So how is each incorporated into, uh, you know, into this festival, considering there's a bit of everything from, you know, children's theatre to dance, drama, fashion and, um, and everything in between? Um, so specifically the choir. The choir, yeah. So the choir comes in as a musical element into the whole situation. So basically, um, as the Youth Expression Festival is just for the youth and everything else that that, that um, we actually go through, mm -hmm. um, I feel that Debojo and Lags find songs that actually collaborate with, mm, with whatever yeah. it is that is being presented and then they bring in um, the musical element into everything and just putting the message through it there. Okay, so could you please give us the details on uh, when the festival will end and uh, how do members of the public partake? Um, so the festival um, will end on the 1st of July um, and everybody who would like to actually come through at the South African State Theatre can buy your tickets at Pick and Pay or Web Tickets. Um, tickets are also available by the venue okay. um, if you haven't got any. So at the entrance of this particular um, production, you'll sure. actually get your tickets there. And um, if you go to www.statetheatre.co.za, um, information about the whole Youth Expression Festival will actually be there. As, also as to how to get tickets and mm -hmm. how to actually get there as well. All right, Admire and Debojo, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Good stuff. We just spoke to Admire Masangu, the Youth Expressions Festival coordinator, and Debojo Kubedi, the SAST Youth Choir Director on the South African State Theatre, hosting the 14th Annual Youth Expression Festival.